Dreams come true. In 1979, a TV show appeared out of the mystical East. It had strange faces with strange voices. It was Kung Fu with a disco beat. It was monkey magic. In the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Monkey magic, and it were, weren't it, eh? Opening credits, very similar to Bergerac. <laughs> the four worlds formed again and yet again. And it go in on this um, monkey island, and it, it's just like Bergerac. It's exactly the same. I have no life. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. Monkey is monkey, the devil is devil. Born from an egg on a mountain top. Monkey magic. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Monkey was. A Japanese TV program for kids, which is um, supposedly set in ancient China. <laughs> Obviously, he's a warrior, so what else does he need to be irresistible? <laughs> the spine of the story is uh, this young, innocent monk who wants to go make this journey to the West. He went along and he took with him a monkey, a pig, and a monster. These were sort of animals with human attributes and magical qualities. I hate you! You're a pig, you are! Well, you knew that. This is the pig that loves you. Monkey um, was the cool one. Um, he was quite fiery. And he had incredible sideburns, which gave him the look of a 70s um, Jason King sex god. Uh, I'll book later. I wore sideburns, which many people thought were real, but actually they were false. Whenever we were filming, they would just stick them on. He's right here one minute, and he's here the next minute, and he jumps. <laughs> He looked like a proper geek, right? And he was dead ass, which I, I like that. <laughs> what was all that about? <laughs> I don't know, he's like he's eating a chip and it's too hot. <laughs> Take me to your leader! <laughs> he had a stick that could grow. Bigger stick! On one occasion, I was oh, doing an action away, scene with a stick pointing it towards the camera, and I accidentally hit the cameraman. It was nothing personal. He may have thought I hated him, but of course I didn't. And he had a little cloud he could magic up and fly around on a cloud. My cloud! Right! Put it off! In those days, there were no computer graphics, so the special effects were, how shall I put it, not brilliant. And he had this thing on his head that used to go tight whenever he got in trouble with God. Ah! Let me out of here! I Learn patience. Ah! I, I don't know, we're only, we're only six. <laughs> I don't know what we're about. He'd have a stick and he'd grow and he'd fly around in a cloud and off his head. You're not a real princess. And a real dragon on occasion. The daughter. A father. <laughs> I did a lot of film dubbing in my earlier years. I can't remember any of the characters that I had to do, except a Japanese princess. Oh, really? It can get even larger, but it does get smaller, too. You have to look very closely at the character whose voice you're supposed to be finding. Stick, grow little, grow smaller. Whether they're angry or passionate or having sex. <laughs> I can use it as well. Oh, I never doubted that passionate primate. Big or small, that's useful. Well, sometimes when you have to do little squeaks and giggles, it helps if you're touched by your fellow actors. And I was. Oh, go on, make it bigger. Yes, big again. It works! It's <laughs> my half size now. In that case, sir, his sacred celestial majesty... European languages, the sounds are roughly the same. Now, with Japanese, it's almost impossible. Where you can be rewarded according to your just desserts.
Oh, well, put it this way, at the time I think it was my glue stiffy stage and I was the official translator for Monkey. Such rudeness and bad manners, there's no excuse at all. Even so, I might just let you off on one little condition. Hello, Monkey, you come here, I want to talk to you. Anyone can be enlightened. You can, so you should. It's very serious so stuff, monkey, actually. Baby. But the way the Chinese shot it, it seemed almost risible. One must be careful about learning about Buddhism from television entertainment shows, uh, because everything is always grossly oversimplified. I am Tata Gata Buddha. I always thought you were a fella. <laughs> I don't remember the song. <laughs> If most of you boys had my poster on your wall in 1979, then most of you girls...